all of my mates and I have been homophobic in the past, and this is how we do it, right? You don't do it, it's not horrible, but you don't mean it to be horrible. It happens by accident. This is what men do. Every time one of my friends or I will express something like emotion to each other, we'll add on the end of the message, no homo. <laughs> in case one of us accidentally comes out of the closet <laughs> because we forget to... I mean, what an incredible way to reveal yourself. As if I might get a text message and go, oh, my God, you're not going to believe this, sweetheart. Pete's gay. <laughs> well, he just sent me a message. Love you, bro. Had a great night. Didn't put no homo. <laughs> What's Debbie going to say? <laughs> Similarly, if Pete said something incredibly gay... I'm not convinced that no homo is going to cut it. You know, if, if he sent me a message going, Rom, want to take you out tomorrow night, get you drunk, ravage you anally, <laughs> make a sweet love to you until we both fall in a heap of climactic orgasm, no homo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that no homo's doing the job there, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I do also think... I do also think that heterosexual dudes are, are incredibly arrogant, you know? I do think we're very arrogant. I'll give you an example of how arrogant I think we are. We are turned on by lesbian pornography. I mean, it doesn't get much more arrogant than that, does it? That is a situation where a penis could not be less welcome. <laughs> and a heterosexual man will watch that scene, see two women just having a crack in time, and his primary thought is, imagine what would happen if I rocked up. <laughs> I think sex would be better with a dude. I think I'd be better at sex with a dude. There you go, I said it. I'll tell you why. I just think a man has got to be better at handling a penis than a woman, you know? Based purely on the number of practice hours that he's had, right? <laughs> It takes, what, 10,000 hours to master something. There's 8,760 hours in a year. I reckon I mastered my dick in a year and a half, right? <laughs> I'm a dick ninja, mate. The pleasure I could give a man, backhand, forehand, volley, whatever you want, mate. <laughs> I just want to step up and show my potential, my true potential. I feel sorry for women. Because the first time they're dealing with a penis, it's not a training session, they're in the fucking game. Just, oh, shit, what do I do with this? <laughs> Shifting it around, trying to find third. Do you know what I mean? I just think... <laughs> a dude would be much more comfortable. There's nothing he hasn't seen, mate. Dick related. He'd just step up like a bloody cocktail bartender. Do you know what I mean? Just, don't worry, sir, we'll have you off in no time at all. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I think I'm gay, all right? I think I'm gay. <laughs> I just need to find a dude that's into the Asian Rolf Harris look, and then we are in smash down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Apollo, you've been absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Hello. I don't do a proper encore, I just come back out. I do, I do try and spend quality time with my wife, right? Um, and I think based on what I've said before I went off there, I'd probably need to. But... <laughs> my wife and I, we, we, watch, we watch TV together. That's what happens, isn't it? When you start off in a relationship, your quality time means you're going out and you're doing all sorts of stuff. But I'm at the point where you just sort of exist in the same room, do you know what I mean? Like, you, like, you know, Paul, how's the marriage going? That's oh, going great. You know, last night, we had a bit of quality time. We both sort of sat in the same room and looked in the same direction for about four hours. <laughs> it was wonderful, man. I mean, it, we didn't really talk to each other, but it was just magical to sort of be in the same space, you know, and really sort of just enjoy each other's air, you know? We were sort of sitting there, both looking straight ahead, never communicating. It was just, you know, so nice. Neither of us left the room at all. I mean, I went up to go to the toilet. I, I needed a piss. I pretended I needed a shit just to have a longer break, to be honest with you. I sort of sat in the toilet thinking what could have been, do you know what I mean? I could have ended up with someone I really loved. And 
but that's not to be. I've sort of compromised on my dreams because I don't want to die alone. And then you sort of think, OK, well, let's get back to the living room and carry on the merry dance towards oblivion. So... <laughs> thanks very much for asking. <laughs> um,